Hey, today's video is going to be a little bit more technical. We're talking about fetch.ai today. And fetch, one of those things that I love looking at because this, um, this business, this company, this token is doing a lot of stuff. First things first, a lot of people don't know this or are finding this out the hard way. But if you go over to, let's say, if you go over to Coinbase, so you're on Coinbase, you want to buy some fetch. When you buy that fetch, it is actually not the native fetch. It is fetch that is on the ERC-20 network. And so because it is on the ERC-20 network, um, you can't stake that over in Cosmos Station or where we're normally going to stake fetch. So let's walk through that process on how to do that. And hopefully we can get that done and accomplished for you so you know how to stake your fetch over there and then get it off Cosmos Station successfully so you can have your fetch back over to where you can sell it or liquidate it on the exchange, on MetaMask, wherever you guys want to do it. So Okay, so to go over this uh, simply, the things that you're going to need, obviously, if, if you have Coinbase, that's one thing, but you don't necessarily need Coinbase if you already have MetaMask and fetch on MetaMask. So we'll eliminate that step unless you already have it, but we're going to start there. You need a MetaMask wallet, you need a Cosmos Station wallet and account, and you also need a fetch wallet. So... I'll walk through each of those steps one by one. First things first, get your MetaMask wallet open. Um, you have your MetaMask account there, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that. That's the account number or whatever else that we're going to send your fetch to if you don't already have it on your MetaMask. So if you have your MetaMask, like I said, skip this step and we'll go to the MetaMask part. But this is super simple. You're going to want to paste that address in your uh, Coinbase account. And then you're going to send whatever fetch you want over to that wallet. Okay, so you're going to send, I have... Uh, a certain amount of fetch here in Coinbase. And then you're going to go ahead and click continue. And then you're going to go and enter your authenticator code. And it's going to send that fetch. Now, this is the ERC20 fetch. It's going to send that to your MetaMask wallet. You cannot send this ERC20 fetch directly to Cosmo Station to stake it. It won't work. It'll also give you a warning in Coinbase that this is not an ERC-20 fetch wallet. We cannot send to the Cosmo Station address. The Cosmo Station address starts with fetch. Anyway, you cannot send it there. And I'm going to tell you why. In just a second, we're going to go over how to transition the ERC-20 fetch into native fetch so that we can send it over to Cosmo Station. So this can go to your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so let's take that there. Let's assume that we sent that over. Um, since I already have some fetch in my MetaMask wallet here, I'm just going to go ahead and use that and stake that fetch, send that fetch over to Cosmo Station and get that thing staked over there. Okay, and like I said previously, if you have fetch in your MetaMask wallet, you also likewise cannot send that to Cosmo Station. That will be gone. That will disappear into the oblivion without warning. You cannot enter in the fetch address wallet from Cosmo Station and send that. It will be gone. Disappeared. Your fetch will be lost forever. So what you need to do is come over to the tokenbridge.fetch.ai. I'll put the link in the description here. Token-bridge.fetch.ai. And this is right where you put your Ethereum address. Once you open up the site, your, your wallet will ask if you need to connect to it. You're going to go ahead and connect to it. And then you're going to have that set up. So you're going to enter in your Ethereum address here. It's going to self-enter in, so you don't need to enter that in, sorry. And this is where you're going to put your Cosmo Station address. So right here, what we need to do is we need to open up our Cosmo Station wallet, okay? We need to go over to the fetch part of the Cosmo Station wallet, and here is the Cosmo Station fetch address. And you can see we have zero fetch in here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste that fetch address into the token bridge. Now, the next thing that we need to do is how much do we want to send across the bridge to the Cosmo Station wallet? So we're going to go ahead and enter that amount in now. And typically, I like to do a test transaction if you haven't done it before. But because I've done this thing a few times, I'm just going to go ahead and send. Let's go ahead and send 5,000 fetch right on over the bridge. I believe gas fees are cheap right now. It's going to go ahead and sign, make you sign a max spending limit on your fetch. How much do you want to spend? I'm going to go ahead and hit max because that's always what I do. That way you can use any amount of max, any amount of fetch that's in your MetaMask. I hate this new thing. It's an unnecessary fee. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Anyway, you got to go next. 
it's supposed to save you in case you're doing bad transit. Anyway, it doesn't save you. It's just, it's there. It's a fee. Anyway, approve that fee. It's going to cost a few dollars. So you got to wait for that approval. So that approved. So now the message will pop up that you want to do the swap. And this is going to be $10 right now. It'll be cheaper sometimes during slower network times. But we're going to confirm that as well. So that's approving the swap. That's going to improve the transaction, the transaction to swap it from Ethereum, from the Ethereum address over to the native address. Okay, that's going to approve that. Okay, so the transfer is complete. So now we can go over to our Cosmos Station wallet. And the thing is with this transaction is it doesn't happen very quickly quickly for some reason whatever it is it goes through so many anyway it doesn't happen very quickly so it takes a while for this transaction to complete so we're going to wait for this to happen and then we'll go from there that didn't take that long only for like 14 minutes the fetch is there in my cosmos station wallet now what do we do okay on the app on your phone you can actually delegate and do what i'm going to do next on your phone if you're using the phone app but because we're not on the phone app we're using the browser app we have to actually go over to the cosmos station wallet once you go to the wallet.cosmostation.io, you're going to go ahead and connect your wallet. It's going to connect to the Cosmos Station wallet you have here. And right now it's on the Cosmos network. So you've got to go ahead and find the fetch network. And this shows the exact same thing that's in your wallet, 5,000 fetch. Now, if you want to delegate, which that means stake over here, you're going to go over to delegate right here. And this will pull up a list of validators right here where you can stake your stuff. We're just going to go for the highest one. <laughs> I, I am not going to give any recommendation on which pool to validate or which validator to delegate or stake your stuff with. So we're going to go delegate here. You go ahead and insert the amount. Let's go a thousand just because I need to keep some of it unlocked. When you stake this, it is actually locked for 21 days and you cannot unstake it. You cannot access your fetch for 21 days. You can start unbonding it right away. And it doesn't earn any rewards while it's unbonding, but you will have access to your fetch again in 21 days. So once you stake this thing, it is staked. So we're going to go ahead and generate and sign the transaction. Boom. This is going to pull up in our wallet here and we're going to sign this. Boom. Confirm. And that's it. Okay. So that is going to get staked there in just a second. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. Okay. And as you can see, there's about a thousand staked. There's 4,000 left in my wallet. Uh, and we are staked. We're earning 11 ish percent right now on the fetch that we had staked. Here's our reward. If we go and refresh again, you can see that's growing quite quickly. Boom, boom. It's already up to seven. Anyway, it's growing quite quickly. Okay. So we have that staked. That's all we need to do. This is a lot prettier on your mobile app. And it's a lot easier to do on the mobile app. I don't know why it's just easier, but I just want to show you all in the web browser since it's here. Anyway, so now that we have that, let's say that we have some fetch that is available and we want to send this back over to sell this to get fiat or whatever else we need to do. We're done staking. We want, we're anyway, we want this off of the Cosmos Station wallet. Now, you cannot send this directly to MetaMask not be clear enough you can also not go directly to the token bridge and do anything there cosmos station wallet does not connect to the token bridge that's a problem so here's what we're going to do we are going to connect browser wallet the only wallet that we can connect to right now is the fetch wallet which i have right here so we're going to approve we're going to connect that thing that is the fetch wallet address of this fetch wallet. So now we need to send the fetch from Cosmos Station over to this fetch address. So let's go ahead and copy this fetch address. Let's go back to the Cosmos Station wallet. And we are going to go ahead and send that. We're going to put how much we want to send. So let's just send a thousand nice even round numbers. Okay. Here's where we put the address from our fetch wallet in. Okay. And the fee is so small on the Fetch Network. Anyway, we're going to send that. Boom. Go ahead and sign that transaction. Boom. And it's done. So that will be sent out here in just a second. And then it will show up in our Fetch wallet right here, which is connected to the bridge. So right now, oh, we got that. Like, 
instantly. That was fast. Okay, so now we have our fetch right here. So now we can take that fetch, transfer it back to ERC20 Ethereum. This ETH address is actually already connected from when we had it connected before. It is the same Ethereum address that we took the fetch out of the first time. So if we want to take that back, let's say we want to take the whole thousand. Actually, we can't take the thousand because there's a $50, 50 fetch fee. So we're actually going to take uh, 9,000 or sorry, 949. We'll leave a little bit of fetch in that wallet and we'll do 949. It's going to take the transfer fee. I actually think that takes it out of the 949. So it might actually only send nine, 899 across the bridge. Let's actually see. So we're gonna wait for that swap. We have to sign it. This is in the fetch wallet. So we have to approve it in the fetch wallet and it's gonna come back. There we go. That was a little blip. It's gonna come back over to our MetaMask here. Okay, so this is gonna show up. We're gonna see that activity. We're gonna see that come through in our MetaMask wallet and you are done. Your fetch is gonna be back in your MetaMask wallet. You're good to send it to Coinbase to cash out, or you can go swap that thing on Uniswap. You're done with your fetch. So now what we did today in today's video, we staked some fetch on Cosmos Station. We got a great reward and we're able to get fetch back off the Cosmos Station wallet, back to the fetch wallet, over the bridge and back to our MetaMask so we can sell that again whenever we want to thank you guys so much for dropping by this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech tip if you want more tech tips just like this one go ahead and go over to nickblacknext.com where we have a whole library where we're setting these tech tips up and you can see all this information how to learn and do crypto transactions that are important for you guys to do on the blockchain and in and around the digital space thank you guys so much and we will see you in the next one